Your job is to monitor the rainfall in a region that you've broken into a 3x4 grid. Every time a storm comes, if a cell in the grid gets rain, you record it. At the end of a month, you have the following two arrays of data. Rain locations, a 7x2 array representing the location of recorded rainfall, and rain amounts, a 7-element 1D array representing the amount of rainfall in each corresponding location. Build a 3x4 array representing the total accumulated rainfall in each cell of the grid. Oh, and don't use a for loop. Okay, here's my solution. Let's go ahead and break it down. So the first thing we do is we initialize a 3x4 array of zeros, which we'll call rainfall. And basically, this array is going to store our result. So what you might be inclined to do at this point is something like the following. So you might say rainfall square brackets, rain underscore locations, square brackets, colon, comma, zero, rain underscore locations, square brackets, colon, comma, one. And you might say plus equals rain amounts. And what you're trying to do here is you're saying, OK, in the rainfall array, we want to update the uh, values at indices. Well, rainfall locations, square brackets, colon, comma, zero, these are going to be the row indices of the values you want to update. Uh, rain location, square brackets, colon, comma, one picks out the column indices of the values you want to update. And then plus equals rain amounts is going to cumulatively add the rain amounts that correspond to those locations. Now, the problem is this doesn't work. And where it fails specifically is the elements of rain locations that are repeated. So for example, uh, index 2, 3 is repeated three times. And if we look at that location, which is this guy, um, the amount of rainfall in this result is actually equal to the last rain amount in that location. Another example would be element 1, 1, which is repeated twice. So um, this amount of rainfall that we ended up with is 0 0.4. Um, I'm sorry, it's actually uh, 2.0. Well, that's the last amount of rainfall that it got, but it actually received other earlier rainfall. So this plus equals you know, uh, assignment or, or update statement doesn't work like you might think it does. So NumPy's solution to this problem is the dot at method, which exists for all unary functions. So in this case, what we can do, the way we can modify this, is we can say np.addAt, at, and then we pass in the array that we want to update. Let me go ahead and rebuild this rainfall array. So the array we want to update is the rainfall array. Then we pass in the indices where we want to update it. So in this case, we give it a tuple of row indices and corresponding column indices, and then the corresponding amounts that we want to add, so rain amounts. And when we run this, now you can see that this function works as we desired. 